So a solvent, as we're going to discuss, is anything that dissolves something, something else. So the thing that's used to dissolve something is, is a solvent. What's that? Water. Water can be a, a, a solvent. Water is certainly the most ubiquitous solvent in nature, uh, w without question. But it's also used widely in the chemical industry. What about every time you use a paint, a coating, an ink? A, uh, 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 for those who wear nail polish, for uh, uh, virtually anything that uh, is necessary to dissolve. Uh, yeah, please. Uh. Dry cleaning. Yeah. Huge. Um, so literally billions of pounds uh, of, of these solvents. So, all right, that would be enough of a reason to talk about solvents because they are everywhere. We're going to talk a, a lot more about where they are and, uh, and what they do. But they are also among the most highly regulated substances there are. Uh, so when you start looking at, the, uh, at all of the different uh, lists of regulated substances, whether it's water contaminants, whether it's uh, uh, fugitive air releases, uh, their uh, solvents are going to be seen time and time again. So why, so why do we think um, a solvent, or solvents as a class, uh, might be among the most highly regulated? So I want you to go back to the risk equation, and that the regulations are put in place to reduce risk. And think about the components of risk. Why do we think solvents would rise to the top of the, uh, uh, of the list as a class of most highly regulated uh, chemicals? So many of it across different areas of the life cycle, you're going to increase exposure. Uh, what we're going to see as well, so the answer is yes, but what we're going to see as well is that um, for solvents to be really useful, it's not only that they dissolve stuff, but it's also that you can, uh, once, you're, once you're done with it, can get rid of it. So you put your paint um, together by having your pigment and your solvent, right? You apply it on, and what do you want to happen to the solvent? If, you, if you're doing it in a large manufacturing process, you want to carry out the transformation, then get rid of the solvent and dis, uh, distill it off. You want it to, to go away. So if something is easily evaporating and you're able to distill it, talk to me about the, um, the exposure component. So you can breathe it in, it can get into the air, it can get up to the, the, in the atmosphere, in the stratosphere. So again, it's, uh, so because it knocks over all of these triggers for the risk equation, this is why it's of, of high concern, high volume, high regulatory.